Welcome, everyone, to the Real Means Cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Philip Archer. What's up, Philip? Good morning. What's up, Connor? Hello. All right, I wanted to talk about this because we were talking about it off the air, and I'm like, stock to the news, so why not? Um, Tom Baker's novel, Scratch Man, is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah. Uh, it's coming out when, Connor? 23rd of January. And who helped him write it? James Goss. And he's the biggest, what, the writer? Biggest he's writer? Not, he's not the biggest writer, but he's... He's, he's very probably, prolific. He's a bit more prolific in the Doctor Who world, so yeah. He's probably the best. Okay. He's done uh, City of Death recently. Oh, he's done, a, he's done tons. I can't really tell you. Oh, wrong. Hey, let me see if he's done any of these ones. Uh, I, I think he did Cricket Man, but I'm not sure. Um, okay. I, yeah, I think he did. So that will be an end of month exclusive from us, I guess, or early February. We will be. Yeah, it'll be, com- it'll be coming out in both book form and audio book form. All right, so. so we'll buy it, we'll read it, we'll review it in February. Oh, uh, you Hey, Scott. You're, you're muted. You're muted, Scott. Oh. Hello. Hey, so we're going to buy the Doctor Who Scratch Man book from Tom okay. Baker. I'm going to read it. I'm going to re- going to review it in February, I guess. Right? Okay. That that'll be something to look forward to for February. Indeed. Also, Indeed. for February the Macro of Terror, right? Mm. Yes. February. We're going to be doing that in the Republicans kiss. So there is a reason to keep the Republicans. What? The Macro Terror is March. March. Is it March? It's yes. March. All right. Well, look, we have uh, stuff the Tom Baker box set is out. Right, there's stuff to talk about for Doctor Who. There's always, and, be, there's always going to be something Doctor Who. You, you, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know. We, the most we, we've done without Doctor Who is what? Ten months, right? Or more. So we'll, we'll, we'll do it. We, we've done it. it. Will, to be fair, we're only 12 months away from a new Doctor Who anyway. Ooh. It's a mo- year. Yeah. It's going, to be, it's going to be January 2020. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think so. And in between then, you'll get little snippets of news or leaks and stuff like that. It'll fly down. <laughs> yeah, so I, we, we, throughout the month of January, we're going to be getting members of the Ripple Beans cast are going to be reviewing the episodes that they've been busy to house. Holiday season's over. They're going to come on here and they're going to talk about stuff. You're going to see, you know, Jesse, the timeless. She's going to appear on here. David Aston's going to review his other stuff. I'm sure Stephen Price is going to review his, as well as other different members are going to just tell us what they do on the episodes that will comprise of January and February. We will do um, maybe some classic Doctor Who reviews as well as Scratch Man. Um, and then maybe we'll even do an audio, start doing audios too, possibly. Um, and we will make this, the Real Beans cast reach 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, whatever. That's what we're going to do. So, sounds good, Scott. <coughs> yes, <laughs> very good. What'd you do? You knocked your TV off the wall. <laughs> I see a TV in the no, background. No, that uh, that was uh, that was one of the TVs we got to bring. Up, a lot of us got to bring home. Nice that TV from my room. Takes you away, man. There you go. We had Matt Edwards today. Review the frog. That was interesting. Oh, I, I haven't watched that. I, I have to go back and watch that and see. Yeah, and hopefully he's. Uh, we'll get him tomorrow to review. Um, well, maybe tomorrow for his. Uh, I'm not sure what he's watching. He's either watching the girl who fell to earth, the woman who fell to earth, or the witch finders. He's picking one. So we will get him on here. Anything else? Is there a video game in development? No. No, we just don't want her in a video game. No. <laughs> no. No. No, thanks. A buddy of mine from uh, work got me a poster. I mean, it got me got me a calendar for Christmas. And, of course, she heard how much I loved the Jodie Whittaker version, so she got me the other one. Oh. The one with well, the I got to tell you, I looked all over for that calendar, and it was nowhere to be found in Staten Island. I yeah, got a nice. little... Calendar <laughs> kiosk is just outside our. Uh, it wasn't around. Or that's where we found it. I need Matrix Lord needs a calendar. Don't make me create my own. 
Huh? Which one? Which one are you talking about? There was a one with Jody Whittaker and Yaz and Graham and and Brian Sinclair. Don't you dare! I've got it. I've got it, but I can't hang it up on my wall because it's the hole's too small for the nail to go through. So I'm I'm having to improvise at the moment. Okay. <laughs> so um yeah uh I'm also going to be returning to look around to see if we got any new Doctor Who merch, which there hasn't been. Why would they have it now that it's off the air? But you never know. And we'll get back to you guys. We'll show you guys what we find, I guess. If you find anything, Philip, you'll let me know. Yep. I, I uh, two and Scott. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right. We're out of here. We're going to go to the Everything Show. Take care. Bye for now.